thank you for giving me this chance. I actually owe the veterinary program a lot. Uh, my name is Amira Sauber. I come from Egypt. I am currently a member of the Egyptian parliament and also the secretary general of the foreign relations committee at the parliament. Uh, also, I'm a member of the coordination committee of the parties, the youth leaders and politicians in Egypt and the member of the high board of the Egyptian Social Democratic Party. That's my title, sorry to say. Uh, you're asking about my situation before joining the program. Actually, all through my life, I've been very passionate about change making. Um, I spent like seven years working at the field of medical devices, trying to alleviate pain, giving opportunities for people, and uh, discovering like different aspects of how the world of business works. I've been a regional marketer at the world's number one medical devices company. And then at the age of 28, we felt like this is not very much me. I need to move out of my comfort zone from the uh, from the uh, world of the multinationals and the corporate to what I really want to do. And here I moved to an NGO uh, where I was working actually during and before the program. I worked uh, at this NGO which targets women and children health. Uh, we were doing many interventions for early childhood development and actually the founder also of the NGO was an Ashoka fellow and here came my connection with Ashoka and gave me a complete new eye on how to implement change making. Every day we were actually moving across the cities in Egypt, teaching mothers, changing practices, liaising different ministries together, advocating and communicating with partners from all over the world for this cause. Um, we did lots of awareness campaigns, uh, targeting children with special needs, uh, newborns, mothers who are suffering during their pregnancy or who hasn't got like uh, proper access to info and to uh, practices on how to raise up their children he happy, healthy, and with good ha with good health mentally and physically. So actually, this was like the big door for me to enter uh, change making on ground. I've been into the field of politics for long. Uh, I contributed to, uh, actually, I participated in the uh, 11th revolution, 11th of January revolution, a major revolution in Egypt's history. Uh, and all through my life, I have been engaged in different activities, founding an activity at the university, which targets to uh, make students more acquainted with the soft and essential skills like communication, presentation, negotiation, and how to uh, how to be like uh, having a set of skills which is different from what you learn at classes. So um, it, it was like um, all through my life I was searching for a change making aspects, and this program came to like collect all the beats together. Uh, in a beautiful way that made real sense. Um, I'd say, uh, regarding the major takeaways or her lights, to become a thought leader and the change maker, you should like open your eyes and senses to learn, to get inspired, to communicate, to appreciate diversity and to keep going no matter how hard you're being hit. That was the highlight I took from the program. I got to know people from like seven different countries who are out of my comfort zone, who are of the different uh, mentalities and cultures. All of this was empowering me more. I, I got to meet people who are real change makers face to face. We had long conversations and uh, we ran beautiful and inspiring talks, which like sharpened my vision pretty well. It developed a set of skills for me and it, it kept me inspired to pursue my dreams. Also, uh, understanding and observing the journey of the great change makers across history, it has never been a big bang or a magical single change. It has always been a long journey of trials and errors, of persistence, of willingness to leave your thing in this world. Even if you're gonna make the life of only one person better, it's really worth it. That's what I got to learn from the uh, program. It, it had a magical impact on my business life. Actually, now being a member of the parliament, I have an exceptional opportunity, you know, to apply change making, especially on the level of legislation, which means that you're part of a process that affects the lives of millions of people. 
the nine months which I spent at the module, I got to learn the process of impact and social business modeling, how to set a strategy, how to follow the guide for change from your own self and out to your society, and how to look at any challenge from like a holistic dimension. So your approach to solving any problem and to find a solution is following a specific, scientific, proven and effective approach, which definitely yields real solutions, you know? Actually, um, I find myself very well uh, being a politician, but I, I feel I am a kind of different politician. I also come from a social democratic background. That's what my party is, the Social Democratic Party. So it's very much related to implementing changes on the level which targets the better lives for, for everyone. Now I aspire to have my own NGO and this NGO is kind of different because it shall learn people on, on every aspect how to tackle the process of change making in a kind of professional way. Whatever you're doing, if you are if you're running an NGO, if you are working at an NGO, uh, if you're having your own business, uh, if you are into, uh, into the field of politics or change making, you should know how the system works. And also you should know things about yourself, what really motivates you, what sharpens your skill um, uh, from the program. And what I really need, uh, want, to, want to do moving on is how to change the system, how to understand this and to mobilize the different stakeholders to facilitate impact-oriented collaboration, you know? Uh, because one of the biggest problems of the world in which you see right away is bad communication. Bad communication between people, between countries even, and this is where most of the, um, of the problems come from. Uh, the, 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 the governments shall not understand pretty well what their people want from them and vice versa. Also on another note, who are the players and the stakeholders of any uh, of any field, give it a name, tourism, education, health. It's about getting all the collaborators on the same table and trying to manage the change, the differences between them to yield beautiful changes. This is what I really want to do through, through this uh, NGO. And this is how the program connected me actually with, with the different change makers from all over the world. So I have seen how the process is being implemented. It's not only science, which I got to learn or books, which I got to read or cases studied. It's practical experience from the top notch people who have uh, led their own way, who have their own experiences. So they are giving you like the essence of it.